Hi friends, welcome to our first episode of Three Minute Theology. I'm down here at the foundation of the building that we gather in at 1002 West Maple. And today we're going to start, we're going to start this whole series by talking about the cornerstone. Jesus was referred to as the cornerstone. The cornerstone is the first block of the foundation which is laid, that the entire house is lined up from and which the entire house is built upon. So right here, this little cornerstone, this first stone that was laid to erect this massive building. And I want you to just think about that for a minute. In the book of Isaiah, and Isaiah was considered the messianic prophet. He was the prophet that spoke the most about the coming Messiah. And may I remind you, this was 700 years, nearly 700 years before Jesus was born and comes onto the scene. But in Isaiah, um, in, in chapter 28, verse 16, it says this. So this is what the sovereign Lord says. See, I lay a stone in Zion a tested stone, a precious cornerstone for a sure foundation. Now, something that you need to know is Zion is actually in Jerusalem. And the next text that I want to take you to is Jesus, some 700 years later, in Jerusalem. And Luke documents this in Luke chapter 20. This is right after the parable of the tenets that he's giving to the religious leaders and, and after he does this and he, he's laying out for them uh, what this parable is explaining, uh, it says this, the, the religious leaders were so taken back and they said, when the people heard this, they said, God forbid. Jesus looked directly at them and asked, then what is the meaning of that which is written? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. So Jesus himself is calling himself the cornerstone of which everything is going to be built upon. Everything is going to be laid out. This true solid foundation is going to be built upon. And then we see the Apostle Paul speaking of the cornerstone just a, a few books later in the book of Ephesians. And in Ephesians chapter 2, this is where Paul's talking about Jews and Gentiles being reconciled together through Christ. And listen to what Paul says in the language he uses. You are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. Verse 22, and in him, you are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. So friends, can I just ask you, what is your temple, your life being built upon? Is it true? Is it solid? Will it last? And ultimately, is God invited to dwell there with you? I hope you have a great week. Bless God.